Hi everyone, so today I have a sponsored video from Tonic Studios for you for their new showcase. It's called the Vino Vault Gift Box Die Set. Um, it looks amazing already. I, I love having this little kind of sample of what the packaging might look like. So this is a sample. They did send this item free of charge from my review and of course all opinions are my own. And any links down in the description box will be affiliate links which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items to those links. So it's very rare that I have this to show you guys that this is basically what we're creating. How awesome is that for gift giving or just to decorate your bottles? I mean that'd be really fun to have something like that just sitting out all pretty. Um, for your wine bottles basically here. I'm assuming it's going to hold a 750 milliliter wine bottle because that's your typical size but we will see when we get there. Um, as you can see it's and that's why it's called a vault. Uh, at first I don't know why I didn't notice the bottom part. I just thought it was on the top and I thought it was like a little sheath kind of that goes over the top but check it out. So it has a bottom too so it's just in there really really cute. Um, of course lots of inlays and things like that. I think for today's video I'll probably use pattern paper kind of like in this example. I think that'll be really uh, lovely and just something different because a lot of times I just go ahead and do the inlays which are great and we'll probably do the inlay like for the tag part. I'll show you that so you'll know kind of what that looks like or what that is if you're not familiar with die cutting um, and things like that. So I mean how pretty is this? Like this one just looks like a decorative bottle. Uh, it says time for wine, just for you, those kinds of things. And it says the largest, so usually it tells you on here, yeah, the largest die is 4.4 by 8.5. So roughly four and a half inches by eight and a half inches I would say. But let's open it up and look how gorgeous this is. Super easy. It looks like we just have a couple pieces and um, you know your base piece and all that kind of stuff. Excuse me, so we have this larger portion. I'll show you kind of Oh, ow, I do have instruction. <laughs> so mine are facing the opposite way, but yours are generally going to be like in a kind of like a folder type of situation. And it's usually like this, right? So your instruction will be on the inside and then the outside of your folder. Looks gorgeous. Let me just fold that over like that, right? So when you open it up, you have your dies and your instruction. That is so cool. Okay, well then um, I was going to show you the example so you can kind of see what we're looking at. But basically, it's your side panels, right? They're going to kind of curve over this guy, kind of like the post uh, box that we had um, seen during birthday week. Super cute. Um, and then of course your base panels and you know the things so that you're, you can actually slide your wine bottle in there. The rectangular panels are going to be for this box area, right? So front and back side panels, you know, coming around your base piece but also the area that's also going to make it so that you can slide your wine bottle in there and then your side um, pieces at the box base and I mean you just put it together guys. I mean this is super simple. Um, what I'm going to do is just start, jump right to it but uh, we have inlays again. So since we have these pieces these are the actual pieces that are going to construct the actual vault, right? This guy and like this guy. Let me go ahead and pop them out and then this guy. And then this square base with the inlay on one of them, uh, just the base on the other so it doesn't cut the circle. So we'll talk about that in just a minute. Um, I will tell you it does have straps and clasps so I don't know if you can see here in this image. Well, maybe I have a kind of a little picture for you there. So you're going to put those two little hearts together and it's going to make like a little area that pokes out and then this little strap when it comes down will close into that. So like this little area. Hopefully you can kind of see there. What they did here is they put like a little rolled paper or something like that through there. Um, but you can just push it down in there. But again, you do have something like that you can create. Um, so you have those pieces here. Excuse me. Right here. Clasp the little heart. And then um, you have like this inlay if you want to use it. Of course, we have matte layers, right? So that's what you're looking at here. The pretty parts where like, okay, everything's black, but then this other portion, that's your matte layer. And you can do an inlay with that matte layer and that um, just adds more beauty to it, of course, for all the pieces, the sides, the front and the back and for your whole base all around. Um, and then we have the um, just, excuse me time for wine. I was gonna say just for wine. <laughs> this one says time for wine and this one says just for you. Right? So you have these guys that are inlays. You have this piece that will do a whole background piece or you put them together of course for the inlay. Um, so we'll play with that later. But for right now I'm going to grab I suppose my um, base color that we're actually going to create the wine vault with and then um, these guys, I'm going to use these little layers, the matte layers, because I'm going to use pattern paper, okay? So we're just going to go with that. But let me grab our um, initial papers that we need for like the very, very basic construction, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So 
I just grabbed tons of this really heavyweight kind of um, cream colored paper. So we need two of this guy. And does he fit this way? Oh, he does. Okay, so we can definitely get both of these on this paper. And you might even have room possibly for one of these guys, but it's a little bit thicker, so maybe not. So we have two of those. We need front and back. So two of this one, right? And we'll definitely get that off of one page, and we definitely have room there for some of these other pieces. We need four of this guy, because it's the box base, so you need four for the four sides. Right there. The square panel says you need two, and then you need a square panel with the circle four of those. So you, it's making it really sturdy, basically, so when you put your uh, wine in there, it'll be really, really nice and sturdy. But let me just make sure why that has four. Hi, the exposed loot has... Okay. Yeah, they just want it to be super sturdy. So to create the base, simply adhere four rectangle panels together, of course. Attach square panel and square panel with circle to the rectangle panels as shown. The fold and glue them to form a box. I am not going to do four of them. Um, just because, you know, this is a sample. But also, I think with the paper I'm using is super heavyweight. We don't need to do four. So I'm just going to do two, okay? So square panel two, square panel with circle two, um, and then we'll talk about the straps later in class. And the front and back panel also says that you want four, actually, so let me see about why we would want four. Okay, one for the back, one for the front. Okay, cool. I'll back up, guys. Sorry. We need four of this guy. So four of that, two of this one, four of this one, four of this one, of course, this is that box base, you know, all around. You're going to want two of the square panel without the inlay. So even though there's a circle here, it doesn't cut. It's just there. Okay, so we need two of that. And then I'm also going to do two of them with the circle inlaid. And that means you're just going to place it like that and place some tape so it doesn't move and run it through. So you get two die cuts with the circle cut out. Okay, and I will be right back with those basic pieces. I'll show you. These were eight and a half by 11 pieces of paper and this is how I got them cut out. That way I ran a few through at the same time, so the square, and then one of the long sides. So two squares, and I have a little bit here left over. Um, these guys I ran through together, so the side with um, uh, the rectangular piece, because we need four of each of these things, and look at that, they came out of two sheets. And then again, this one was the long side piece, plus the die cut that needed to have the circle cut out of it. So we did two of those. And then you just have this little circle you can use for something else. But do not toss out these guys, because of course we need these. So, quick recap. Let me put these to the side here. Four of these guys, front and backs. Four of the rectangles for your base pieces. Two squares two squares with the inlay circle and two of the side pieces. I'm going to take a moment right now just to score everything and basically you, know, you have the nice side where the die went in and this is like the rough cut side. I'm just going to score everything towards um, the rough cut side, right? So right now my nice side of paper is facing down. And just to have them ready, I like to have my score lines ahead of time. If you want to decorate these before you glue things together, go for it. I usually do mine afterwards. So I'm going to go through and do that with all of these guys. And then this one just has a little score line down at the bottom or a little down here. Okay, so those four. And these guys, basically you kind of want to start getting them rounded a little bit. You know, you're going to do that in just a minute. Um, it does say to cut the tabs off of one of the side panels. So I'm just kind of rounding guys, it like this. They're going to get folded in. So again, towards the rough side of the paper. Okay. And on the second one, we do not cut off the glue tabs. We're going to need the glue tab. We just need one glue tab. So that's why you cut off of one of them. So these guys all fold in towards the rough cut side. Okay. So when I come back, everything's going to be scored and we're just going to start gluing it together. So right now we're going to put these guys to the side. We're going to need one of each of these squares. And we'll put this to the side also. And we're going to work with these guys. Now we can flatten it back out. Right now I have the rough side facing up. Okay, so the wrong side facing up. So the nice sides are facing down. And what they're showing you in this image, which I really appreciate, 
is how we're gluing this together. So hopefully what you can see is that that's a rough cut one, gluing to the next rough cut, next rough cut, next rough cut. And then these guys are on top of that. So it's gonna look nice at the bottom and nice at the top, even though you are gonna glue another one down. So I suppose it doesn't matter too much, but um, that's what it looks like to me. So that's what we're gonna do. Again, you're gonna cover it up anyhow, but it does look like they place these on top of the blue tabs. So let's just do that. So right now we're just gonna follow that. Oh my gosh, is there anything better than like that big deluxe bottle? <laughs> Love it. So we're gonna put this on here. I don't know where a little red glitter came from, but she is here. All right, let's put that right there. And again, I like to look side by side, have it right on that edge. And I'll hold it for a little bit, just so it doesn't start coming apart when I start doing other things. So I'm just gonna kind of finesse that for a little bit. And then again, this one here. Okay, so I'm not gonna waste your time, but basically I'm gonna glue that one there. Again, checking that it's nice and straight, that it's on that score line. Looking nice. And then I'm gonna glue this one to this last tab, okay? And then I'll come back to do the, the squares. This is getting a little bigger. Again, if you wanna have decorated this already with your panels, your pretty panels will be facing down here, right? Your matte layers and everything. Um, oh, so the reason the picture looks like it's all around the edge is because right now when we place these on top of the glue tab, when you go to fold this, it's go that glue tab is going to be facing on top now. It'll make sense in just a minute, it's not a big deal. But let's put glue on the inside of the glue tab. And you're gonna glue one of these guys on. Now this part's not gonna be shown, it's not gonna be seen because you're gonna put something else on top. So you can put the nice side facing up or the rough side facing up, it doesn't matter. You're gonna cover it anyway. So uh, I guess I'll just do nice side facing because that's what I'm used to, but we're gonna place this on here. And I'm going to pull it up just a little bit because I can see that this is kind of in the way of that. I'm assuming we want to get right on that edge. Okay. And then down here, again, glue on the inside of the tab. And this is our base. And again, I'm going to put the nice side facing out, even though it's going to get covered up, so it's not the biggest deal. And just you know, right on the other side of that score line so it doesn't impede the score line at all. So I'm, I'm sitting it up just to make sure that that's what's gonna happen. Okay. All right. I'm gonna let that set up just a minute because all we're gonna do now is bring this together into a box like this. But I want this to, to be ready for that, okay? So I'll be right back. So this basically looks like the image. And what we're gonna do is bring this in, and you're gonna bring these tabs in, gluing them on the back to hold them down. Okay, so the tabs are gonna be like sandwiched. So I'll start by focusing on these bottom ones. I'm just gonna go ahead and put glue on all of them just now. You're gonna trap this between another square anyway, but you want to do that really well. So I'm just gonna put glue there, bring it in. Hold that down for a little bit just to get it trained like that's what we need maybe this one actually I didn't hold on yet you know what I'm gonna do it like this <laughs> how about that that's much easier there is that last tab in the back though this end tab right here so I'm gonna put, go ahead and put some glue on that and that needs to be facing inside obviously you don't want that showing on the outside of your box here so there's that guy I'm just gonna hold this all at once so making sure that side is nice and straight and everything in here is touching and a lot of times I'll bring something like this just to really touch on those blue tabs. Okay, so I'm holding this side tab, making sure these are touching the glue tabs at the bottom, which are actually behind, right? We put, they're back here. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. I'm gonna wait for that to set up a minute and then we're gonna glue this guy down. And these tabs are gonna go on the outside. That's pretty good for now. Again, we're gonna put another piece on top, so I'm not too concerned. So what we're gonna do with these tabs, though, is we need to bring them out, these glue tabs. Let 
because we're going to bring this down in here and then glue those tabs over the top. So glue on this wrong side. And just bring them down like this. I'm probably going to put my fingers in the little hole so I can feel where that's at. And then just do it like that. So see how my hand's inside this circle? And I'm helping those glue tabs touch each other there. And I'll hold that for a little bit. And then around to this one, same thing. Just kind of keep my hand in there. Okay? All around. And then this guy too. Just hold it down. So as you're seeing, I just want to show you the easiest thing I did was kind of put my hands on either side like this. And then you hold those corners. Give yourself all that room. Kind of massage that. Same thing with this one. And just holding them down. And same thing with this one. But thank goodness we have these last two bits that are going to help us finish those off. And that is actually step three. So I'm going to put glue on this. You can put it on the back of your square piece if you prefer. But I'm going to put it on here. And then with my square piece, I'm going to give it a zhuzh. And what I mean by that is like when I put it on here, I kind of slide it around a little bit to make sure that glue gets to the very edges. And look at how nice and finished that looks. Hopefully you can see. I'll show it to you in just a minute. It looks awesome. Okay, so there's that one. I'm going to hold that down for just a little bit and then we'll put the top one on. Okay, and for this guy, same thing. I'm going to put glue all along the very edge, basically. And since this one's a little bit different, a little more special, I'm just going to go around the inner edge, too. Just to make sure I have glue that holds that down. And, of course, the nice side. The nice side was facing up here. Okay, so nice side facing up over here right on there and I didn't have to judge that one too much but I'm gonna hold that down um, next thing we're supposed to do with this guy is go ahead and put your decorative panel on and then add your clasps but since I haven't cut those things yet we're just gonna do that at the end okay so that's what they're talking about here let's go ahead and start working on the uh, top of the box okay to finish off, I just massaged in here just making sure everything was making good contact and this is sturdy and awesome and when we put the side panels it's gonna be even more sturdy I love it all right so now we're gonna get these guys here and again, again, we already cut the top off one of them, so that's great. And what they want you to do is, I'll just show you right quick. This is step five. Um, glue two front and back panels to two uh, side panels and a square panel with a circle as shown below. And that is why you needed four of the ones with the circle, right? Because I was looking ahead, I'm like, why do we need four? So what I'm going to do, actually it still seems like three. <laughs> but it must be four. So one for the top, one for the bottom, so it looks nice. So I'm going to cut out two more of the square with a circle, guys. That answer our question. There you go. <laughs> I was like, why do we need four? So I'm going to cut two more of these guys out just to have them ready, and I'll be right back. So sorry about that, but that makes total sense. So now we have two more. So basically, for our base paper, it took about four and a half, I would say, um, pieces of our base paper, okay? So we're going to take one of these guys with the uh, circle. We need two of these. Okay, and we'll need both of our side um, pieces here. And so what they are showing us okay, here Hopefully I don't have too rough of an edit uh, at the beginning there because we have two of these guys and I had shown you to score them and that we had one that had the top tabs cut off. I cut the wrong tab off, so I'm going to edit that out. So I'm not going to talk about it. I might mention it because, you know, I talked about it later as far as one of them when I was doing the score lines. We're not cutting this long tab. What you're cutting off are these two short tabs. Oh my goodness, you guys. So... Two short tabs need to be cut off on one of them, right? Because you only need one set of tabs. And I did mention that, and I'm sure that I'm not going to edit that part out because it still makes sense, but I just cut the wrong tab off, that's all. <laughs> uh, so there we go. I'm going to score this, and I'll be right back, guys. Like I mentioned before, you know, you kind of want to get this scored up in a way and kind of like that, right, in a circle-y manner. It's this guy. <laughs> okay. So we have these two. So again, two uh, front and back, the square with the circle cut out, and then these two side guys. And we're gonna start gluing those guys together. And okay. so they're gonna be something like this. And again, this can be the nice side, it can be the ugly side, because you're gonna glue these on, and then we're gonna cover it up anyway. So if you glue them here and we put that nice cover, it doesn't matter, right? So let's just get those guys glued in. 
and I am going to glue them on the underside of my circle because that way when you're done all you're doing is adding that second circle underneath instead of trying to get it inside you it's going to be impossible because we're going to close this up in that arch shape right so um, glue on the underside of the glue tab this is the rough cut this is the nice side facing out so just glue it here again making sure it's not impeding with your score lines and just glue that there and then just all around so glue again on the underside and butting it up in here and same thing with these other two in here and this one on this opposite side okay I'll be right back so up. now if you really want to you could probably put that base piece on there it'll just be sturdier but they're saying to move on to do this portion so we're going to just bring this guy up and bring this up and we're going to glue all these glue tabs on the outside okay so let me just show you what that might look like how I'm going to do it we are going to cover this so you know just do your best because again we're going to put another piece of cardstock on the outside which actually we're going to trim away um, on those last two pieces we're going to trim the glue tabs because you don't need them but uh, we'll just go around here like this and sometimes what I do is I'll lay it down so I can see what I'm doing see like right here it's right against there and just bring it around if you want to do it all at once and do that as much as you can right so like on this one I can do that I'm going to lift this flap to move it out of the way so you can see what I'm doing just making sure everything is in there it's on the outside okay of my paper so I'm being a little extra here doing it all at once but if you want to bring it around a little bit at a time I know it's hard to see what I'm doing but there you go so I'm just holding that against here and using my table as something to help me keep that down so I'm gonna keep that there and I'll come back and show you the second side okay it's still wet but it's probably a little more held up it's fine I'm gonna bring this around here and I know it's hard to see but I'm gonna put glue again whoopsie on each one of these tabs all the way up to the top ah. and again making sure it's underneath bringing them around I'm not I'm being very gentle with this flap you probably don't have to be because I just glued so you know it's still wet there let's wipe that away sorry guys I'm trying to make it so you can see what I'm doing so again I'm just gonna hold this against here and bring this all underneath all around I know that flap is getting back in the way I got it <laughs> I'm gonna have to curve this back just to get it out of the way there we go so you can see better and again I'm gonna hold that down just like I did the first time so hold it in here all around under here there is a final glue tab at the top that we'll use in just a minute okay so <laughs> it looks a little like a boat right now we have these glue tabs in here so I'm gonna go ahead and adhere those I want to really make sure that I have glue on that so it just stays nice and closed up there we go I'm gonna set this up for now and I'm gonna hold this glue tab right on that edge and then I'm gonna hold this one down okay and I'll be right back so as I put this together I wanted that hole to be really like perfect so I was really pushing it together in a way that we'll get it nice and closer right okay I'll be right back so now we have these guys <laughs> that we're going to bring out pretty much all the way out like this and putting glue on this back side um, you can put glue on the whole thing because I don't know if I can do one and then the other side but either way we'll just have the glue there bring this guy in I'm just pushing it in place and then we need these guys to come around and hold on and I have my hand inside that hole so that'll help and if you want to do the same thing like I did before where you turn it over and just kind of have everything facing in like let's say we did this now we're gonna have them facing in place it down so you can see inside and I know it's hard to see but I can see in here and I can see when it's lined up right against where I need it to be and again just use your hand to keep that down right that nice shape 
but you can definitely do it that way and that's probably what I'm going to do. So again, just all together, all at once, <laughs> everything all at once. Just have my hand in here and just making sure those walls are touching really nice and flat and I will be back. Okay guys, I don't know if I'm ready to let go, but as I'm, you know, I've just had my hand in here, I'm smoothing it, I'm seeing inside and really making sure this is rounded on the top and not just like sticking up like the little boat shape that we had before. And as you can see in there, I think I did a pretty good job. So there you go. Okay. Now, I still have a little bit of glue to dry on the top, so I'm going to wait just a little bit longer, okay? I'll be right back. Last little bit here on this one before we decorate, we're going to add that, and we're going to add both of these guys. But with both of these, we are going to just trim these down. So sorry, I scored them earlier. I would have just cut them. Now, you can definitely take this to your guillotine, or you can just trim it down as straight as you can. I'll do the same thing with the second one. Facing up, I'm just going to go ahead and glue this down right now. And that'll help your glue tab stay down also. I'll say, you know, if you're putting this together and you think about it like that, this topper piece could have been like gold, like a gold accent, that'd be lovely, or some kind of metallic paper, or just your pattern paper. You can still do it now. Um, just have it even that much more sturdier. But there we go, so there's that. I'm just going to hold that down. I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side, okay? That second right side stuck down. And then this part here. So what I'm going to do is just kind of go like this to the very edge. It's a little bit wonky. So I'm going to make sure I have lots of glue on there to really finish it off nicely. Very edge, very edge, very edge. And then the nice side facing out. And again, this is the underside of that top part, so it's not like super critical that it has to be super perfect but there we go she's going to cover that up and i'm just going to hold it down okay, guys, so let's get decorating so we have this guy it is very taut <laughs> like that arch is really really nice um you know one side looks a little nicer than the other of course we are using die cuts but it is still handmade as we put it together so this is going to be my front and this will be the back where i have a little bit of like a gap right there and um i mean Wow. And I just kind of massaged this in just to make sure this was all connected. And basically, essentially, we have our two pieces here. They're going to go like this, right? <gasps> awesome. So I grabbed these really bright florals and thought, why not? Uh, what I'm going to do is on the back of this paper, actually, it has a really cute pattern. So I thought for the top of my pieces, I'll do this. And of course, we're paying attention if your paper has a um, direction. You definitely want to pay attention to that. Um, so we're going to need two of this arch one, two of the side pieces, right, to cover the side. And then you're going to need four pieces that go in here, which is basically this. And for me, I'm going to cut that from the green side of my paper. So I'm going to turn my paper over and cut four of these, two of these, and two of these. And I will be right back. Then we'll do the latches and all that kind of stuff. Two pieces of pattern cardstock, you know, um, to get all my pieces. All right. And so simply, you know, because I'm doing it this way, I'm just going to glue these guys down. So we have our four. Again, yeah, if you're doing overlays and all that, you would have your mat layer, your overlay, or just an overlay layer. It looks really nice because then you see, like, a really gorgeous pattern through to your paper here, your base paper. So again, as little or as much time as you want to put into it or, you know, paper products. So again, all four, all around this base. And then with this guy, of course, a piece in the front. And then the side pieces, which I'll show you in just a minute. A piece on the back. So pretty. Side pieces. Just give them a little bit of a zhuzh. They start rounding for you. And definitely get it right on the edge of that, especially the top part there where it curves. And I'm not putting a lot of glue because I don't want it to like seep out of the edges, but I do put a good amount. And then I'm assuming it's about the same amount of curve or like, not curve, but what's it called? Like leftover <laughs> side area there. That looks good. Splitting the difference left and right. Border, I guess is the word I'm looking for. <laughs> okay, and I'll hold it here and I'll hold it down here. 
And I'll do the same thing on the opposite side. I'm loving this. Of course, again, if you have pattern paper, you want to make sure your um, direction is going the right way, especially on this bottom part. Obviously, this should be facing up, so your paper should be facing up towards that hole. But look at that, guys. Oh my goodness, it looks so pretty. All right, so what we're gonna do is cut our closures. So you're gonna need uh, two sets of this. So you see there's a left and a right, so we need two of that. And um, I'm just gonna cut that from some of this, like, look at the scrap I have here, perfect. And then um, you'll just need one set of these because there's one little strap on either side. Unless you want to make it sturdier, right? If you want to double them up, you can definitely do that. I think I'm just going to cut this from beige paper. And, you know, I have plenty of beige paper, that cream colored paper, should I say. So I'm going to run that through. And that's it. So I'll be right back. I have a lot of the beige paper left over. Um, I went ahead and cut two for my little straps just to make them extra sturdy. You don't have to do that. But since I did that, I'm going to glue them together back to back. So wrong side to wrong side. And it's just going to give me a sturdier little strap, so I'll do that with both of them. And then try to line them up really well. And then with these guys, you're taking, so that one die will cut a left and a right, right? A <laughs> left and a right, right? Um, so basically, you're not gluing the hearts together, you're going to glue the little clasp area together. So I'm going to put that in my hand in a way that I can kind of manipulate that already. Like that. And then the hearts get glued to your box, of course. So right now it doesn't need to take too, too much because then it'll go all over the place. Just put those together. And, you know, as you look at it, making sure they're pretty centered. That looks really good. And I'll do that for the other set, too. Okay, Enough. I'll be right back. I kept calling the other ones front and back, so that's what it says there, but it depends on how you want to present it. Do you want to present it with it going up here and the bottles out, you know, here, or decorate it this way? I mean, it's really gorgeous in any way that you want to orient that. So, um, either way, just pick a side that you want to be in the front. Oh, that is tough. <laughs> it looks so cute either way. Um, all right, I'll do it this way just because that's what we're trying front and back, but the sides look really nice as the front too. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to take these guys and you're going to glue it somewhere. Now, uh, if you're using the inlay, I think it has like a little heart area where you might be able to guess where that would go better. But for right now, I'm just going to eyeball this one and hopefully I get the other one just about centered, but it's not going to matter because let's say I have it there. Okay. I'm just kind of left and right. I think that looks good, you know? On the other one, you're just going to line this up anyway and then glue it down. So it doesn't really matter if this one's a little bit lower or a little bit higher or whatever. You're just going to match it up with the latch itself anyhow. So there's that one. And then on the opposite side, we're going to put another one. And again, I'm just going to kind of eyeball where that one was. It was about, I don't know, a quarter inch down, kind of in the middle. <laughs> kind of in the middle. Hopefully it's more in the middle than kind of, but there you go. Something like that. And I'm just going to hold that one down too. And I'll be right back. And again, if this is my front, then that means I have to put those little straps on the side here. You can change your mind and put the straps on there, and then that's your front and back. It does not matter. It's up to you. Um, okay, so how am I going to do this? I don't want to squish this, but it is squishable. Obviously, you can go left and right with that. What I'm going to do is stand it up. How about that? I know it's harder for you guys to see, but I can see it. So I'm going to put that little clasp on there and just kind of see where this needs to be for that to glue down right there. So I'm going to put some glue on this top, like, inch or so. Okay, so if that was there, this is here. We're just going to glue it straight up and down, right? That's our preference. Just making sure it's nice. Okay, I'm going to hold that down. I'm sorry guys, I just wanted to make sure it's like flat down here. And if that was in there, that that would fit nicely. Okay, I'm going to hold that until it's about set and I'll be right back. I think that's pretty set up. Now I'm going to go to the other side. Now we can unlatch that if we wanted to, but I'm just going to leave it there. And again, putting about glue on the top like inch or so of this. I'm kind of pushing down on my box so that when I place this in, it'll just have a nice latch right so as i can see here that looks pretty straight looks good and i'll be right back 
just holding it there. So that sets up. I'm not going to mess with them. I'm just going to leave them there. It feels really sturdy, really nice. I'm going to put that to the side. Um, I'm going to take this time for wine. Why not? <laughs> and I have this piece. The reason um, I had to cut another piece is because I didn't really tape down my die real well. And it moved while I was die cutting, so that's why it's all crooked. So um, I'm just going to use this for maybe a background piece. Sure. No, let's go with this side. Okay, I'm going to do that. And then I'm also going to run this through some cream colored paper just because I want to, what I'm going to do is put this on like some twine and that way it hangs off the bottle at the top or you can stick it to your box itself, of course, but this is just something a little different. So I'm going to run that through like that. I'm going to run it through some beige paper and I'm also going to run it through some kind of accent like metallic paper like this and then of course tape together so it doesn't move, okay? And I'll be right back. We have this piece again with that inlay. Time for wine. Right up my alley this set. I love wine. <laughs> and uh, this is going to be really fun. I was going to dress up in Christmas colors, which would be really gorgeous. Um, with all those different inlays. Oh, you know what? Because I went right to this, I didn't really describe the inlays, but hopefully you can see what kind of what they're about. But let me put this on here. It's like a scroll work with like hearts, like a little lattice. I'm going to hold those together. I hope you can see that, that beautiful scroll work with like the little hearts, lots of little hearts in here. And you have that one pattern for the whole thing. So I'm going to hold this down. I'm going to grab some twine and then we're going to glue these two together, okay? And I'll be right so back. So I grab some twine and I'm just kind of debating. I think I'm going to go with this black one. Why not? Just something that's going to be very um, contrasting. And I could bring my wine over right now, but I'm pretty sure, you know, it's going to be something like that. And then it could be hanging there. Um, I did this the other day in a different video with the wax seal. But what I'm going... Oh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> I want the rough cut side facing this way. So it looks nice on the back. So what I'm going to do is put this on here. I'm going to put some glue there. I'm going to cross these over so it looks a little more elegant. All right, we have that much out there. No, no, no. We need to start crossing like up here. Let me see about what that works looks like here. Okay. And then this guy can just go right on top of that. And that should be enough. Let me pull it out a little bit more. And I'm totally eyeballing this. You can t definitely bring over your wine bottle and put that on there and see where this would be hanging if you had this much on there around the neck. I'm going to hold that down and I'm going to go grab a wine bottle and I'll be right so back. So this is the bottle of wine by itself, but you can definitely, yeah, look at that. How cute. So there's that. Time for wine. One of my favorite wineries out here in it's San Diego. I think it might be Escondido. Does it say on here? Yep, Escondido. Uh, Altipiano, love them. Um, member of their wine club, and I go every three months to get my wine order, and then they do a whole catering and stuff like that. But anyway, um, so we have our box, and again, I mean, you can make little things to help you keep the keep the latches down. I think the images it looks like they had a little rolled paper, or maybe even like a little toothpick that you can just cut. But you know, whatever it is, and there's plenty of room in here. So even if your wine bottle is a funky shape, sometimes they do that, right? It might be a little different. Uh, you can definitely fit that in there. Let's put this on the top. Oh my gosh, you guys. Ooh, look at that. How cute. Now it is very thick at the very neck of this and look, it just kind of opened up. So I will keep that in mind next time. And <laughs> the latches just like went in. I didn't really have to do anything. They just kind of boop, sat in there. Oh my gosh, this feels so sturdy and heavy because of course we have a bottle of wine in there. Um, let me push this one back over here. Once I push the one in, the other one kind of popped out. Very well, and then again, you can have this beautiful thing. <gasps> you guys, I did not measure that. I'll give you a measurement because look at how perfect it just goes right to the edge. Oh my gosh, and let's see. So basically, that's there, and this is oh, here. Let me pop that back in. It moved a little bit. You should be able to pick this up by the bottle, and I know it's hard to see, guys. I'm holding it by the very neck. There you go. And it is staying on and looks super cute. Oh my goodness. 
I love it. Thank you so much, Tonic, for sending these items for review, for sponsoring this video. You guys, I'll have images coming up. If you know, hopefully, I can get some good images, and I'll have the link in the description box. And I will see you all at the next one. Oh my gosh, that is really gorgeous. All right. Oh, I said I'll give you a measure around this. So as far as this loop up here, that is like perfect. It is three. I would say three and three eighths. So if it was three and three eighths, this loop up here is six and six eighths. So that'd be six and three quarters at the top, right? And then you obviously want more length in here. So make that loop so it's at least six and three quarters plus whatever it is that you want down here. And it should, I mean, theoretically be exactly here. And that's six and three quarters right at the edge here. So obviously you're gonna add maybe six more inches on either side. So maybe another foot, I would say. But that's crazy. I didn't even measure or try, and it just sits there perfectly. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching again. Uh, I'll have the links there in the description box, and I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.